Now we're going to look at Google Hangouts on air. It is much like a Google Hangout video call, only now it is broadcast live through your Google Plus stream. And you can invite as few people or several people to view it and participate. So to get to Google Hangouts on air, I'm still at hangouts.google.com and I go to my three bars at the top left which give me my menu and pull down to Hangouts on air. When I'm in Hangouts on Air, I'm going to see a different window with some information about Hangouts on Air that I could look through. But for today, I'm just going to click Create a Hangout on Air. When I click that, it wants me to give it a name. So I'm going to put Google PD on Hangout on Air. I could also give more information here for someone who might be viewing it. I can say it starts now or it starts later. I'm going to click Later and I'm going to pick maybe the 20th. And I can pick my times. So I'm just going to leave it since it's a test. And I can have the audience be as big or as small as I want. I'm going to click and remove these and just make it be my school account so that it's just coming to me. And then I can share that. So here's the event window that I next get. It's my Google Plus event window showing that I'm doing a Google PD on Hangout on Air. And I can edit the event, I can share it, it shows who's hosting it, tells me who's watching it, I'll get messages here, I can start it here, I can have a trailer uh, for people to see later after it's been done. I can also have questions and answers and other settings that can be done here and some text messaging or chatting that can take place. But right now I'm just going to click start. And when I click start it goes on and it opens a different window for me. This is my actual Hangout on Air window. I can invite more guests here or I can just skip it for now. And this is what it looks like. So right now my video is blocked and that's okay. I'll show you that in a second. You can see that it's blocked by the red camera icon being covered. One of the things you'll want to do is make sure your settings are correct before you get started. So I have my FaceTime HD camera. That's my display camera because I'm plugged into display. I want to put in my Logitech mic and my Logitech mic here because those are the ones I'm actually using today and click Save. So now I know I have the right microphones, I know I have the right video cameras. And if you look at the top right, I'm now off air. I have not started my broadcast, which would be down here. So I can go on and turn my video screen on here just by clicking that and it should turn on my camera. So there I am. Hello everybody. And when it's on, I can then do some adjustments over on the side. I have lots of different things I can be doing in my Hangout. So for once, the one thing that I do, one control I have is chat. I could be chatting with the participants in the Hangout. So if several of us are participating in this Hangout, we can be talking back and forth amongst each other as we're, as we're actually broadcasting. I can also screen share. So if I click on that, and this is fabulous for um, something like professional development, I might want to click on this site and show you the site that I'm working on. So this is a training site that I'm working on. When I'm done screen sharing it and I can show you things about it, then I just stop. But actually it works. You know, I can click on the side. If I get over to it, I could actually click and navigate and you would still see what I'm doing here. But right now, uh, I'm going to stop that screen sharing and go back to my regular screen. I have the ability to showcase certain things, uh, certain apps and things. I can pull up the questions and answers. If the participants are asking me questions, I could have them in the side where I could look at the questions. Right now it's disabled because I didn't turn it on in my event. I also have the ability to have a cameraman that gives me the ability to control who's being seen by the, in the broadcast. Usually it's just uh, is affected by um, whoever's speaking. You can see that. But you have more controls there as well if you want to do that. So it's going to open that and you can just take a brief look at what that looks like. There are some different video settings here. Then I click to stop that. Um, additionally, I have a control room, the same type of controls. I have special effects, so people think these are really fun because you can give yourself a crown on your head or a pirate's hat or whatever you'd want to. So if you wanted to give yourself a crown, you could just click on it and pull it over and now I would have a crown on my head and it kind of follows me whenever I go, wherever I go. So let's pull that back off. I don't think I need a crown. Um, Actually, maybe it's going to stay for a second. I need to go back and get that off. So let's remove all effects down here at the bottom of that screen and my crown goes away. There we go. So I have effects. I also have, when I hover over this sidebar, I have my 
toolbox. This is really helpful because your toolbox is where you can give yourself a lower banner. So you have different things along here. So on my lower third, I could put Julian Reed, Google for Education Certified Trainer. And I can pick the colors, I can choose a logo, all those types of things. And so I could save it. And I can turn that on. And it's backwards, but if I click this little button here, it's going to flip it so it's the correct way for me. Now you can see that I actually put too much text there. So I just might want to put Google Certified Trainer and let's see what that does, even though that's not exactly how I want to be known because it's not what Google's asked. But let's see what happens now. Turn it off, turn it on. There we go, and it comes up with just that. So you do have to think about the size of the text you're, you're putting there. I have the ability to do some other volume controls, um, other settings here as well. So that's all in my toolbox, and I can close that. And then down below here, there are some apps that could be added. So if I wanted to have the ability to draw or something like that, I could add apps. When I'm ready to start my broadcast, I can just click Start Broadcast. Um, I think that's about all before I do that. Let's look up here. I have invite more people, mute my microphone, turn the camera off, control the bandwidth usage, my settings, and this is how I'll stop it. So right now I'm going to start the broadcast. I'm about to go live. It's going to tell me when I'm live, going live, and now it's live. So now we're on a hangout. Someone actually could join us and watch us. Uh, and it would just continue and then I could stop my broadcast when it's done. Of course, multiple people could be participating and their thumbnails would be down here. and We would all be able to talk and broadcast together in this one broadcast. So I'm going to stop the broadcast. It stops it. It's been terminated and it's told me that. And now I can hang up. Quitting the broadcast. It says it's now over. Uh, it's going to be uploaded automatically to my YouTube manager, I mean my YouTube channel. And I can manage those recordings with my YouTube video manager. So there it goes. I'm back to this screen. I also still have my Hangout window open. And basically, that's a Hangout on Air. And when I go to my YouTube channel, I will find the video. It may take a little bit to process, but it will be there. And you can now make it as private or as public as you want. So that's how you do a Hangout on Air. It's a fabulous tool. I hope you've enjoyed the two videos on um, Google Hangouts and Google Hangouts on Air. Thank you.